Well, I got to say, I was a little apprehensive when we first, because I put out the call. I, I'm ready and willing and wanting to talk to anybody uh, involved in Tiger King. And, um, you know, if anybody knows anybody and they want to come on and talk, uh, we'd love to have them on and let them tell their side of the story and talk about the whole thing. Um, but I was a little apprehensive when we first got the phone call that John Finley, one of uh, Joe Exotic's exes, he's the guy with no shirt on uh, in the uh, in the Tiger King series, wanted to come on because I, you never know whether somebody's trying to play or not. I feel pretty good that it's really John Finley who is on the phone right now to talk to us. How you doing, man? I'm pretty good. I, I mean, I, I guess the first place I need to begin is the question, one of a couple of questions that are very obviously going to be asked of you a lot. First off, where's your shirt, bro? Uh, the producers of Netflix asked if I could do it without a shirt, so I did. So, they, really, they came, they they suggested to you that you do the interview, no shirt on. Yeah, uh, I guess it was kind of the sex appeal type thing. <laughs> Interesting. Speaking of sex appeal, this is the other thing I'm sure people are asking you a lot and wanting clarification on. So, you say in the show that you're not gay... Um, but you did marry Joe Exotic and Travis. Um, can you explain in a way that, that, that those of us outside of that world can wrap our minds around exactly what was going on at that point? Well, at, in that video, that was nothing but a publicity stunt for Joe. It was to get his name out there and to for a reality show. Right. That one thing he really wanted was a reality show. Well, at the time, I was like, okay, reality show, big deal. And no, we were never legally married or anything. Mm -hmm. uh, he legally married Travis and legally married Dylan, but I was never in that picture. Were you ever in a relationship with him? Yes, for 11 years. But you were never married, but you did have, like, he was, I, I mean, for lack of a better term, he was your boyfriend? Yes. So, uh, I, I guess th then, but then you say in the show that you, you didn't consider yourself gay. How would you define your sexuality? Now or then? Both. Now I'm straight. Okay. I'm straight as an arrow. <laughs> but at the time, you you were bi? Um, I guess you could say that. Yeah. I mean, I mean, a lot of people would consider me gay because I was in a gay relationship. Right. There's implication in the film, and I know that you got a lot of problems with the, the series, which we're going to talk about. And I hate to even talk about this because it's not... Listen, I think that you, anybody can be what they what they want to be. If 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 it's if that's your thing, that's your thing, and that's between you and your partner, and your partner then and your partner now. But um, it is it is strange to people to try and grasp the concept of I was gay at the time, but I'm not gay now. Like, how do you? Were you gay when you were younger? How did that? How, how did that fluidity of sexuality? Like, how do you reconcile that in your mind? Uh, you know, it's like one of the fans said, uh, they sent me a message on my fan page and said, you know, it's not something written in stone or anything. It's you can change your mind of how you, your sexuality. Um, but it's, it was, it's kind of like color thing. You want to experiment and right. it was something that I well, I've, I've, that was right. I've heard a lot of people, particularly women is who I've heard say this is, uh, and it's, it is a little bit more difficult as a guy and for guys to grasp that, that fluidity. But I have heard women say, I fall in love with who I fall in love with. And on occasion, that's been a man. And on occasion, that's been a woman. I don't consider myself in terms of my sexuality one way or the other. I guess for most of us that don't have that fluidity i guess the way to wrap your mind around it would be to say somebody is bisexual and they happen to fall in love with one or the other right now you're in love and engaged to be married with a woman and that's where you envision yourself being from now on so um i guess that's the way to put that to rest is just explain it that way and then we can move on and talk about the other stuff are you did, does that make sense to you yes that does hey by the way going back to your shirt thing i had the theory the other day that you weren't wearing a shirt because you didn't have a cat shirt to be wearing uh, no, I have quite a few cat shirts. But, yeah. <laughs> hey, I saw a picture online. You got teeth, man. I did. What, you know, like who, how did you get the teeth? Did you save up your money to go get them or, or, uh, what was the, what was the process there? Well, 
with the job that I have, I have dental insurance, and I was like, okay, it kicked in. Yeah. So let's let's go do this. Speaking of the teeth thing, and and I'm I'm digging into stuff that that makes me uncomfortable. So I hope I don't make you uncomfortable by talking about it, but. Um, the meth use at the time, the drug use that was going on, how much did that play into the guy that you were at the time that you were living, working at the zoo? Um, later on in like four years after the start of it, it started to affect me. Yeah. I was, I was starting to notice the ticks and the, the bad things that come with it. Okay. But, but you're clean now, and because I know you've got a good job, and you're working, and you're engaged, and your life seems to be way more together than it was at the time. So all of that's good now, huh? Oh yeah, everything's great compared to what it was used to be. Now the, it, it's implied in the series, and they they imply it in a way that doesn't say one way or the other. I think they say it was rumored or something to the effect that you were in a relationship or having sex with the the lady that worked in the the front office at the uh, zoo. And that you perhaps got her pregnant. Do you have any, like, do you want to confirm or deny a relationship with that lady? We did have a relationship. It lasted for about three years. And I do have a daughter. Okay. Uh, I will not release her name. No, no, no. I don't want her name. I'm just, I just wondered about, because they were so ambiguous about the relationship in the series that I wanted to, to see, like, whether you wanted to confirm or deny it. So how did you meet the new fiancé? Uh, we met online. Okay. And did she know uh, about all the stuff? Like how, at what point do you start dropping all the, all the details on what went on at that point in your life with her? And then how did that affect her watching the series? It didn't really affect her. Uh, I, I pretty much bared everything to her. I didn't hide anything. Yeah. And that was even before we met each other. I let her know everything that was well, going listen, on. Listen, I'm not even talking about the, the 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 relationship with Joe. I'm talking about like the the conditions that you guys were living in, and all of the you know all of the scandalous part of what is in this series. What, did any of that like? Did I know she's sitting there with you? Did did at any point did she have a question about? Boy, I don't know about this guy. No. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're talking to John Finley. He uh, was. I don't even know how to say it now because you you were you were in a relationship with Joe Exotic because you weren't really married to him and I, we we need to clarify that. Uh, but you are a big part of the Tiger King series that's streaming now on Netflix that everybody is. Why well, I read about you on Esquire the other night, dude. You're everywhere. Really? Yeah. That's- that's crazy. Yeah, I know. You need to go check it out. So um, in terms of the series, I know that you got problems with the filmmakers and the way that, that several things are portrayed in the series. Anything you want to unload on? Uh, anything in particular that you have a big issue with from the film? Um, yeah, it's the life after Joe. I mean, why not? They showed that Rinky got moved on and he left his wife and stuff. What about me? What about um, some of the other characters like Saf? Right. Uh, they just they're so, they have so much footage that they could have turned it into two or three seasons. So now they they're talking about it. The story in Esquire, I think that's where I read it. They implied that with all the stuff that they've got, they may do another season of it because it's been so popular. So you're saying that because they did show. You're right that Rinky that he left his wife and kind of moved on with his life. They showed that Eric is working at that restaurant. Um, um, you're saying that they did interviews that had information about your life after the relationship with Joe, but you just kind of disappeared from the show at a certain point. Yeah, and they talk. They actually talk to people that I still talk to to this day and i work with Do you- and they even had stormy in around me and they didn't even ask her any questions or anything stormy's your fiance so um that's who you're talking about there do you still stay in touch with any of those guys that you worked with at the zoo um the only one that I still stay in touch with is Bruce, and that's because I work with him every day. Oh, okay. So I, I wonder if, in terms of your relationship with the people from the zoo, was there a level of resentment towards you and Travis from somebody? And you may not even be aware of this, but at the time that you were in the relationship with Joe, I'm guessing you guys got preferential treatment. That's just natural that it happens that way. Do you think there was some resentment from some of those people towards you, which is why you didn't have the relationship with them that you might have otherwise? 